family is essential to assisting us in showing that oh, the father recovers all they ought to recover and ought to give our blood secure. So essentially, that question can only be answered by that one. We do not know. Against lawyers. The orders that we complain about uh, that are being violated are made against parties. So uh, it's a party who we can move against if we perceive that there's the evidence of poor orders. So to answer your question, um, in cases where we see that we have orders, we cannot file the collected so far. I don't know if you have any idea because I had the complaint is a uh, question that only the uh, only one hectare. So they understand that you are, they can't come to the state and give one to the land without the person to without any kind of end. So I don't think you understand. These are the just got that are probably only one hectare. Or that they claim to go to it and got another property. What do you understand what you Okay. Basically, when they when they approach the court, Around you carry black and protest. Please do so. Thank you. Thank you very much for your advice. Men and uh, people uh, who cover the court proceedings. And every now and then, uh, these matters are reported yeah. in the newspaper. But we would take your advice on and um, try as much as possible to make rendering possible orders in our case. The process might be slow, it might be sluggish, but you have a duty to wait. For all kinds of other parties in court, this is standard practice. And ideally, it will have been easy to enforce. But unfortunately, we're not dealing with a federal government agency who is carrying on as if there are no laws in this land. And that is why we complain and shout that AMCON needs to be called to order. AMCON needs to call its receiver manager to order. Essentially, that's the answer to the question. It's not punishment that you're going to have to do that. Uh, not within the rules. Um, to answer your question, the, the parties who be protected so much are parties that we do not know. So, I think in the absence of uh, any other questions, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Omoni Shitu. I own a house in Nobility Park Estate. I built there. I've been living there for like uh, two, three years before the reserve manager came in and took over the estate. Please, we just need the federal government to intervene to this matter. Meaning, when this guy came in and took me out of my house without owning the bank, owning the anchor, owning anybody. I have my title done on my house, on my land. So he just came and I went to the court, in the Lagos High Court, and the Court of Appeal. Still here, still stole my land, and kept somebody in the building on my land. We need a federal government to be happy with this plan. Thank you. What we ask Amcon is Is Amcon now in the business of real estate development? Why is it that in all of the cases that we found, these persons that we've sued as, as unknown persons, that's why the fact that we've served them, do not turn up in court. On the contrary, it's Amcon's counsel who would turn up and be defending their actions. So we've asked them pointed, even during the court proceedings. Is Amcon now in the business of real estate development? In fact, in one of the cases, the judge did direct Amcon to file what you call an affidavit of disclosure to stipulate the name of the person who is building. Because if you don't do that, it would then mean that Amcon has filed them in the summer of 2019. And um, several orders were filed in the latter part of 2019. Um, and a few others were filed in early 2020. 